This is a Range Rover Sport, it's a 3.6 TD V8 HSE. It's a 2010 on a 10 plate. Uh, finished in Nara bronze, metallic, and uh, beige leather. Real, real good color combination. It's also got black alloy wheels as well, so um, with a privacy glass, the car looks fantastic from outside. Um, done 76,297 miles last serviced at 73,752 miles got a real good service history books all stamped up here and uh, cars ready to go power folding mirrors we've got three position electric memory seats electrically operated height and reach adjustable steering wheel I'll just take you for a ride uh, hopefully I've got rid of all the things that rattle in cars these days that people leave in and uh, we'll just go for a, a quick ride in it now these Range Rovers Range Rover Sport my favorite cars uh, reversing camera as well front and rear parking sensors and uh, children's sensors obviously Right, as I was saying, these are my favourite cars. If you've got a Range Rover Sport up your drive, it doesn't matter what happens outside, what the weather's like, wherever you need to go, you'll get there. They are tremendous. Driving position's fantastic. Use a little bit more fuel than most cars, but well, well worth it. It's like driving around in your favourite armchair. Absolutely everything you could possibly need in a car You've got, this, this one's got sat nav, it's got heated seats. You've got cruise control on the dash here. It's also adaptive cruise control. So it will keep you a safe distance from the car in front. If you get too close, it will apply the brakes automatically and slow you down. Um, really, really good feature on the motorway. Rather than keep braking and then having to click resume, the car just does it itself love these cars the best driving position ever got a massive front central armrest uh, and then you've also got two adjustable armrests at the side you've got a big flat surface here on top of the door cards and for me it's I'm not kidding it's it's like being in your favorite armchair it really is elbow on each side uh, steering wheel and, and you don't have to do anything else the car does everything for you um, we've got xenon headlamps we've got headlight wash it's 20 inch alloys you've also got I um, can't remember where the key is now we that feels like an Audi key that's an Audi key hopefully the key is in my pocket yep here it is Okay, so you've got keyless ignition and also keyless entry. There's no point in having keyless ignition if you haven't got keyless entry. You still have to get the key out to open the door and then when you get in, you can start it with a button and then you've got to find something to do with the key and, and same when you get out. As long as you've got the key on you, in your pocket, you can open the door at the touch of a button and get in and start it and drive off. Um, there is a downside to that. Uh, Lance or oh, Valeta dropped me at the air, dropped me off at the airport a few months ago, and I got out of the car, went through passport control and so on. And then I got a phone call: "Have you got the key?" And it was in my pocket. And I had to come back, give him the key before he could uh, drive off. So they're not foolproof, but this car. I'll give it some gas at the next roundabout. They sound awesome. It, it basically just thuds along the road. The tremendous cars. So bags of room in them, plenty of room for four or five people, plenty of loom. That's easy for me to say. Plenty of room for luggage in the back. You've got a, a luggage roller blind as well, so nobody can see what's in. 
this this one's got privacy glass. Um, tremendous car. I'll wind that window down and give it a bit of gas going up here. Um, and even for a diesel, this sound this sound really good. Probably get a bit of wind noise as well because the microphone's over there. But here we go. Feels so, I don't know, so s solid, sturdy, and you, you, you think it's going to rip the tarmac up when you set off. Um, again something that all cars should have a heated front windscreen as well um, I don't know why that's not standard on on everything you've got a, a cooler box in the front central armrest so heated seats and it just you're just away it's the, the gearbox changes seamlessly. You can't feel it. They're so smooth. You can see above all the traffic in front of you. And uh, just feel very, very safe in them. the uh, facelift as well so it's got the nice steering wheel and uh, display around here uh, the uh, wood finish Just, uh, climate control the heated seats are there I'll just I'll put the cruise on and show you the um, adaptive cruise control so there you go, one, one switch to set the cruise control. Um, you can also increase the speed slightly or decrease it using the two buttons. Um, at the moment, I'll just, I'll just override it. If the adaptive cruise is activated and it slows the vehicle down, you can override it by uh, putting your foot on the accelerator. But as soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, the orange light comes on on the dash and then it backs me off to a safe distance for the speed you're doing between you and the car in front. Then if the car in front speeds up, the range speeds up as well. Uh, cruise control is great, but when you have to keep knocking it on and off, it can become a pain, you may as well just not bother and just use your foot instead. I've also got adaptive headlamps, uh, basically C-Rank corners. When you're turning, you shine, turning left, it shines over to the left so you can see what you're turning into and the same with, with the right. Uh, really good for parking spaces, it, it, you know, when it's, when it's pitch black uh, so you know where you're going. Again, the adaptive cruise has slowed us down again and keeping us that distance from the car in front. If I was going or in a position to buy a car to keep myself um, for everyday use to do everything, then I'd buy a Range Rover. There you go, S slowing us down again. The 
they're easy enough to park from the driver's seat you can see the end of the bonnet and you can see the back of the car although they're big cars no uh, no problem parking anyway you've got reversing cameras and you've got sensors so uh, cruise control on the left there set there resume and uh, you can also decrease the speed there on the right hand side you've got your telephone controls you've got sat nav over here you've got adjustable set, uh, suspension settings here for off-road and so on if you needed to for any reason I don't know you're towing or going down a steep hill knock the gear stick over and you can use it as a manual so but again there's no reason or you can use the paddle shift to change up and down command shift as it's called there engine stop start there honestly just Words fail me. I should get danger money for doing these uh, road tests. We seem to have the world's worst drivers around Walton Dale and Preston. just in the wrong lane he was in the adjacent lane to the wrong lane and cut straight across still if you're going to be in an accident these are the costs of being one in <laughs> it's going to be the other person coming off second best see over all the hedges and fences and cars in front Using a really nice Audi at the moment, an old road A6, and it probably does 50 odd miles to the gallon, I would think, even out of a 3 litre engine. Whereas this, probably, I don't know, between 20 and 24. But um, at the end of the month, I should be back in this if we don't sell it first. The car's beautiful to drive. It's a real bumpy road this is again you can hardly feel it. You can adjust the, the height of the Range Rover, you've got hill descent. And, and even Jeremy Clarkson likes Range Rovers, so Our, uh, our detailer will, will have this car looking like new. And 
just before when I was putting my cameras in as well underneath the back seats normally you, you lift a, the back seat of a car up in a state car or other four-wheel drives and the back seats are, are held on with kind of two flimsy hinges and they just flip forward there's a whole structure underneath the back seat in the Range Rover they just feel so solid So wipe is there. Electric window switches, your electric door mirrors there. Electric memory seats controls on the side here we've also got let me just check that lumbar support as well there's a not one of those old turn things that push a pad out in the back this is a, a pump which blows a, a cushion up in the back seat Interesting dashboard there, dark top uh, with double stitching. Same with the seats, there's kind of Alcantara on the side, but the uh, all the rest of it's leather and it's perforated leather as well. Check everything works while we're out on the test drive. your 4x4 info as well on the display seat heater is extremely good as well so you've got wood to the gear tunnel and the door cards there we've also got uh, Harman Kardon speakers and uh, if you like music it's absolutely awesome listening to it in a Range Rover. The speakers are fantastic, the sound's fantastic. It's, uh, let me just see if. We'll go there to audio. So, DAB radio, CD, USB, and iPod in auxiliary oh, I've come to order audio video there yeah you use the, the switches along here or the uh, touch screen
roll the shutter there. We've got two cup holders. Power socket there. Is uh, power socket at the back here as well. They're a joy to drive. For the price this vehicle is now, considering a, a new price, it's a fantastic saving. I do get why Range Rover drivers think they own the road. It's, uh... Here we are back at the garage.